Our topic is how to calibrate ranger dust using a zero filter. The reason you'd want to do this is because there may have occurred some zero drift as a result of, for example, particles being deposited in the sensor's optical chamber, or maybe there have been changes in relative humidity. So here's what you'll need. You'll need the ranger instrument base, you'll need the PMX sensor head, and you'll need the zero calibration kit. The zero calibration kit consists of a zero filter itself and a little piece of tubing. Okay, let's get started. First, you'll attach the PMX sensor head to the Ranger base and we'll turn it on. We'll wait for the prompt to appear to press any button to start. And now we just wait a while for the warm-up period to end. We'll know that the warm-up period has ended when the wavy lines have disappeared right next to the readings. Okay, the warm-up period has ended, so that means that I'm ready to remove the inlet and begin attaching the zero calibration kit. The inlet can be removed with a simple twist motion. And we know that the zero calibration kit has been assembled correctly if the piece of tubing is attached to the side where the filter itself points as flow. And I'll attach the piece of tubing to the sensor head. And I will wait approximately three minutes for the readings to stabilize. Now the readings may not stabilize as zero, which means that indeed zero drift has occurred but we'll wait three minutes to see where we end up. So the readings have stabilized. That means that I will not be executing the zero calibration function on my device. I'll begin by pressing and holding the left arrow key to enter the settings menu. Then I will navigate down to where the it says calibrate. So I select calibrate. The first option that we see on here is re-zero the sensor, and that's what we want to do now that we have attached the zero kit and we've also waited for the readings to stabilize. And it's asking me if we're ready for calibration and I'll click OK to confirm. And we're done. Remove the zero filter kit and reattach the inlet like so. We'll exit the settings menu by pressing and holding the left arrow key. Now we're back on the reading screen. Your sensor has now been zero calibrated. Note that the zero calibration stays with the PMX sensor head. So all you need to do is if you remove the PMX head from one Ranger base, you can attach it to another Ranger base and the zero calibration stays with it.